the next chapter which is been covered by this book is the biology then there is a explanation and the explanation of the all the topics which has been covered by the bi biology chapter so there is the first thing the topic the first topic has been covered by the biology is cell so every explanation like cell what is it the definition of that then example of that here is example then there is a types of osomers then hypotonic the hypertonic then cytoplasm Hello future SSC railways and competitive exams aspirants today i'm excited to share a review of journal studies from the plutus academy so basically this book is published by the plutus academy a comprehensive guide designed to help you to ace your exams this book is packed with chapter wise explanation to boost your preparation so let's dive in and explore why this book is a game changer for your exam success Journal studies from the Plutus Academy cover a vast array of topics crucial for SSC, railways and other competitive exams including so basically this book is going to contain this subjects physics, chemistry, biology, economics, Indian polity, geography, history, medieval history and the modern history. So first we are going to come for the physics first topic is covered by the physics is the kinematics then speed then here is the newton laws then the oscillations and the waves simple pendulum then here is also the properties of the electrometric waves the second topic is covered by the physics is heat in heat there is temperature scale of temperature thermometers then the boiling point of water thermal expansion thermal expansions of liquids specific heat latent heat humidity then the uh, transmission of the heat then all the topic which is going to be covered by physics is all the topics are here you can then second topic is the light then all about the theory of the light has been covered by this topic then the management and the electricity so all the concept regarding the management and the electricity has been covered by this chapter moving further now we are going to see in the chemistry chapter so, so there is the second uh, chapter which is chemistry so second uh, chapter is chemistry so all the topic which is been covered by the chemistry the chapter chemistry so here is acid so what is like what is explanation of acid like what is acid so an acid is a compound and produce hydrogen ions so and they they have been classified the strong acid weak acids and the examples of weak acids then what are the uses of acids then hydrocolic see one example is the hydrocolic acid which is present in our stomach helps you in the digestion of food here is been explanation of the uses of the acids so they have been uh, here you can see the box in which they have given the acids formula and the basicity has been given like hydrocolic acid so it has been the formula of hydrocolic acid is hcl then what is the basicity of this then it is mono basic so ha there has been table for that then there is a acid used in day to day life so what are the acid we use day to day life say so here is vinegar citrus fruits grapes then sour milk apples curd tea tomatoes a uh, sting of red uh, ants and bees proteins guava and oranges so here been the acid which we use day to day life then there is a all the chapters has been here now there is a strong base and weak base then salt then what like salt there is explanation of the salt that is potassium alum that is potassium aluminum sulfate that is kaso4 2m it is used in the dyeing industry to fix the dye to the fabric then there is a use now that they has been explaining then uses of salt in industries 
the next topic which is covered by the chemistry chapter is the structure of atom so what is like structure of atom has been explained that what is the theory of the uh, atomic of the matters of the first proposed by the john dalton then fundamental pa- uh, particles of atom are the electron proton and neutron then they have been explaining the proton electron the neutron moving further now here is the some common elements and compounds so they are going to explain you the some common elements and compounds the carbon compounds of carbon they have been explaining the carbon monoxide there has been a part then uh, carbon dioxide chemistry in everyday life so now they are going to explain you like chemistry in everyday life like uh, there been explanation regarding that the next topic has been covered by this chapter chemistry is the matters and its nature now there is explanation regarding the matters and what is the existence and everything and about its nature so matter can exist in three state that is solid liquid and gas then there is a further explanation regarding that they are going to give you the detail about the solid liquid and then gas the next chapter which has been covered by this book is the biology then there is a explanation and the explanation of the all the topics which has been covered by the bi- biology chapter so there is the first thing the topic the first topic has been covered by the biology is cell so every explanation like cell what is it the definition of that then example of that here is example then there is a types of osmosis then hypotonic the hypertonic then cytoplasm then there is also the second topic which has been covered by this chapter is tissues like types of tissues the explanation definition of the tissues now here is you can see the table that is the connective tissues and there has been table regarding the connective issues then there is a muscular tissues then type of muscular tissues has been given here then second topic has been covered by this chapter is bone then explanation of bone the definition of bone and uh, then the types of bone has been there example of bone has been there then human eye human brain all the topic which is related to biology has been covered by this chapter the third chapter which is economics the third chapter is economics which is covered by this book all the topics which is related to the economic has been covered by this chapter like demand concept then basic uh, intro of the economics and the clarification of the economics and the uh, types of economics has been there macroeconomics microeconomics then what is economy what is the difference between the economics and the economy so economics is like the science which studies human behavior as the relationship between ends and scarce means which has been alternative uses then second is the economy then what is economy an economy is a system by which people get their living so here is the main basic explanation then there is a concept of the demand so like what is demand demand schedule demand cover individual demand then what are the factors what are the factor which is affecting the individual demand for a commodity and the determinants of the demand so here is the price of commodity itself the income of the consumer price of related goods taste and preferences expectation of future price change so here you can see the graph actually this graph has been the law of the demand what changes changes in demand what changes in the demand the chain there are the two types change in quantitative demand and changes change in the demand which is change in quantitative demanded is like a movement along movement along the same demand curve and the change in demand is like a shifts in demand so here is the explanation vast explanation and the detail explanation regarding the changes in the demand so now there has been explanation the second topic has been covered is types of goods like types of goods are like substitute goods then complementary goods normal goods inferior goods then the villain goods then uh, the explanation of the types of demand the cross demand income demand direct demand has been there prince elasticity of demand that is ed there is a uh, explanation and the diagrams related to that 
then perfectly inelastic demand has been there inelastic demand unitary elastic demand determination of price elasticity and the income elasticity has been covered so they basically the all the concept all the topics which is related to the economy has been covered by this chapter the next chapter which has been covered by this book is the indian polity so all the concept or the related thing which is regarding the indian polity has been covered by this book like uh, making of the constitution related to the government policies has been covered by this book so first is the making of the constitution then what is the composition of the constituent assembly then note the functions of the constituent assembly has been there like the first meeting of the constituent assembly took place on december 9 1946 has been there the explanation has there been you can also see there is a note which can help you out as well then there is a other function has been performed the changes of the independence act this is the changes has been there after the independence act has been came to our government policies then the major committees has been uh, also mentioned over here then my they, these are the major committees and here is a minor committees then drafting committee has been uh, explained over here so there is a schedule of the constitution so the how has been there it's like a table the explanation has been given how the schedule of constitution took place so the first schedule second schedule third schedule has been explained through that then parts of the constitution is also explained the part 1 their article 1 uh, or 4 existing part last chapter as i can tell you the medieval history that is the emergence of the maratha empire the chapter has been covered by this like how the rise of the marathas has been there then there is a uh, regarding the shivaji the great maratha has been there then has there has been a table like how it started how it started and everything has been given by this table the date and the explanation has been there what set this book apart is its detailed explanation of each chapter's concept whether it's understanding historical events geographical uh, features political systems economic principles or scientific phenomena the book provides clear and concise explanations to strengthen your knowledge base so what is the pros and the cons of this book pros is like there is a comprehensive coverage of topic relevant to the ssc railways and a competitive exams and there is a clear explanations and examples for a better understanding if you are serious about the cracking ssc railways and competitive exam general studies for the plutus academy is your go to resource don't miss out this opportunity to strengthen your knowledge improve your exam performance and achieve your dream job General studies from the Plutus Academy is must have a book for SSC railways and a competitive exams aspirants its comprehensive coverage clear explanation practice questions and answer keys make it indispensable tool for exam preparation thank you for watching best of luck for your exam preparation journey for more informative video please subscribe our channel and comment below if you have any questions regarding this book thank you